All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about finding the maximum shearing stress that occurs due to torque in a solid cylindrical rod. So this problem says, knowing that each portion AB, BC, and CD consist of a solid cylindrical rod, it wants us to determine which portion of the shaft has the maximum stress that occurs in it, and then what is the magnitude of that stress. So we know that the maximum shearing stress that occurs is equal to the torque times the radius C over J, the moment of inertia. We know the moment of inertia of a solid cylindrical rod is equal to pi times C the radius to the fourth over two. Now if we plug this equation into our equation here, we get that tau max is equal to T C over pi C to the fourth over two. Now this C will subtract from this C and the two will move to the top. So we'll get, we'll get two T divided by pi C to the third. Now this equation is what we'll be using to solve for the maximum shearing stress in each section. So for AB, we know the torque is equal to 48 Newton meters. It says it right here on the diagram. Uh, C is equal to 0 0.015. It's 15 millimeters. So converting that to meters, we get 0 0.015 divided by 2 because that's the radius. And that gives us 0 0.0075 meters. So we have torque, we have our radius. Looks like we have everything we need to solve this. So to find tau max is equal to 2 times the torque, 48 newton meters. over pi times 0 0.0075 meters cubed. That equals 7, 2, 4, 3, 3, 1, 8, 2.99 Newtons per meter squared, which is Pascals. So for section BC, the torque on BC is equal to 144 minus the 48. And that equals 96 newton meters. The C is 18 millimeters, so 0 0.018 meters over 2, which is 9 times 10 to the negative third meters. So tau max is equal to 2 times 96 over pi 9 times 10 to negative third cubed so we get 8 3 8 3 4 7 0 2.5 3 
Newton meters squared, which equals Pascals. And then for CD, torque seen in CD is equal to the 60 plus the 144, because they're both rotating in the same direction, minus the 48. So we have 60 plus 144 minus the 48 equals 156 newton meters. C, the radius is, the diameter is 21 millimeters, so 0 0.021 meters over 2, and that equals 0 0.0105 meters. So tau max is equal to 2 times torque, 156, divided by pi times C, 0 0.0105 cubed. And that equals 8579 zero zero three zero point eight seven newton meters squared or pascals <clears throat> so looking here it appears that shaft cd has the maximum shearing stress because this is the largest value so since that is the largest value, that is going to be also the magnitude. So there you go. So when you need to find which portion of a shaft has the maximum shearing stress that occurs in it, if you break it up and solve for the shearing stress into each individual section of the shaft, the shaft with the highest shearing stress is the one that gets the cake. Oh, and if you like this and it helped you out, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next problem.